Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Peter Pan Mofo. In this episode I'm going to show you how to glitch the starting line so you can have a small car starting line as a small grid size. Um, show you how to copy, delete races and also how to lock vehicles, be it the class or the individual cars. Uh, with that I include how to get the Liberator on races. So in order to change the starting grid on any of your previously published races um, you're going to have to republish them so you're going to need to copy them go in edit them and then republish them so to copy it just press uh, Y or triangle whichever the top one is on PlayStation and that will copy your race and if you wanted to delete it, you press uh, square or X to delete the race. But then you go into saved and it will be in there. So you can't glitch it on an already published race. That's why you need to start it again. I think I just said that, sorry. So then once you've done that and loaded up the race, Okay, so uh, now I'll show you how to change your vehicle types. So you're going to available vehicles, just press A or X on there. And this way you can mark or unmark the types of vehicle classes. In order to do the, say you wanted a Panto race, just press X or square to expand that. And then you can just pick the Panto. So it's a one of six, but the problem with just having that is then customs will be turned off. So if you wanted customs, you need to pick another car, just to have two in there, then you'd be able to use your custom panto, but it just mean people might choose the wrong car. Um, to get the Liberator, all you need to do is um, unmark that and remark it. And then if you see our uh, unmark a load, I've got one mark there, but it says two. You can't use the Liberator in Creator. You have to publish it, then test it. But let's get on to the grid size. So you need motorcycles and at least one other class marked. Then you go into placement, go over to your starting line. As you can see, I've already done it to this one that I've just copied, but I'll show you how to do it again. So you get the checkpoint. As you can see, you can't get a small a small grid. Only with bikes. So you get the small grid. Uh, choose how many people you want. Find the place. Why is that not? Are you seriously? That's oh, too wide. Mabaid. Right, so they obviously make sure they're not the bikes aren't right at the edge or something because when they spawn they just fall off. Uh, so you place it down, and what you want to do is save it. This is why you need it unpublished because you can't save a published race. So you save it, and once you've saved it, like so. You now go back into race details and just change the small grid to a medium grid. As you can see, it hasn't done anything to the actual grid. And then what you want to, then you'd be able to mark a different class. So you just mark the super, unmark that, press B, it'll go black for a minute and change it to cars. And then you've got a small starting grid with cars. That's how you do it. Then obviously you save it and publish it. Anyway, if you enjoyed that or found the information useful, then please leave a thumbs up. If you're new here, stay, take a look around. I upload daily custom race videos and more, and I'll have more content creator stuff coming out soon. I'm Peter Pan Mofo. Thanks for watching.